Hi, so I'm still investigating uh, how businesses can address the sustainability of their travel. Here at LifeSize we're slap bang in the centre of London and so it's, most of the time it's easier for us to walk or catch a bus or, or, or even cycle sometimes to wherever we might need to, need to be getting for business meetings and so on. However, we realise that taxi journeys are a pretty important part of, um, of, of business travel and we wanted to look at ways that businesses can keep that service but make it more responsible. So I'm talking to Nico Williamson who is the founder of Climate Cars. So Nico, hi. hi. Tell me a bit about Climate Cars. So why was it founded and what are its aims? Okay, well I started it um, just over five years ago um, as an alternative to black cabs or mini cabs, a low emission alternative. So uh, we started by using hybrid cars which emit about a third of the CO2 of a black cab and they run on, bat on electricity and petrol. So, do you aim? What are your sort of aims for the future? Would you like to expand? How, how many? How many cars have you got? What, what's the size of your? Well, to give you an idea, we started five years ago with five cars. We're now over a hundred. Um, so we're covering the whole of Greater London. Um, and yeah, we want to keep expanding. We want to be the largest company in London, of course. So, do you think that? Um, well, do you know that taxi taxi journeys add quite a lot to? Sort of mm. pollution and the emissions of a city and what kind of reduction in emissions would a climate car vehicle okay have? I mean on a, on a, on a trip-by-trip trip basis um, to give you the cold hard stats a normal one of our hybrids is 89 grams per kilometer of co2 a black cab the best one you can get is about 230 grams per kilometer so that's the sort of that's the co2 coming out of the back of the car lots of them are significantly older than that so you know we're talking 300 or something so we're it really does make a massive difference using us versus a you know a black cab or a dirtier diesel or something okay so this is a serious reduction in emissions yeah, even, even just on a journey by journey mm. basis it doesn't just have to be sort of scaled up for you to be able to see no the, no it's, it's you see the savings literally by you jumping on one of our cars and going I don't know to the city or something like that you will have saved emissions versus going in another type of car um, um, we also do electric cars as well. Oh, you do? Yeah, we've got a couple that we're um, trialling, again, limited infrastructure, so it's a bit of a challenge because we've got our own, our own charge points, but we're operating two electric saloon cars at the moment, which are zero emissions. Oh, so is that the, is that the challenge with electric cars, waiting for the infrastructure to be available? For and the range. Um, at the moment, these cars have got a quoted range of just over 100 miles, but then when you turn on the air conditioning, you turn on the heater and things like that, the range depletes. So, in fact, they're fine for lots of short, hip, short hops around the city, but when you want to get picked up, early in the morning and take it to the airport, they're no good I'm afraid. Yet. <laughs> and also I suppose people want to keep the same service that they might have mm. with a normal cab, so they would want things that's like air conditioning, like a certain... Exactly, well these cars are exactly, and they're very similar to our, our Toyota Prius hybrids, so they're normal saloon cars, they've got leather seats, we give away bottles of mineral water, it's exactly the same service as our, as our standard service, it's just the range is an issue. So the key thing is that companies don't actually have to sacrifice anything in no. terms of service or convenience. It's quite or a cost simple switch. as well. Um, so we've never, we've always been very, very cost competitive. We're actually cheaper than black cabs on account. Um, cheaper than black mm, cabs. If you if you have if you book them on account. Um, so uh, we're we're pretty cost competitive. Um, so there should be no reason why. Or sorry, when I started the company, the idea was that there would be no reason why a company wouldn't want to use our services. See, that's really interesting because I think a lot of people associate becoming more environmentally responsible with making some sort of sacrifice mm. or laying out some sort of greater expense and seeing as I mean I suppose as larger companies in particular would already would use such a huge amount of, of yeah, cash perhaps, if, yeah. they, if they uh, create an account with you that it actually won't end up no exactly well the whole point is that uh, when I, again when I started it was all about delivering a better level of service um, reduced or similar costs um, and significantly reduced emissions all of which we do and it's enabled us to get some amazingly large companies using us now we've got some huge investment banks and you know big corporate giants like Unilever and things like that use us for loads of their car journeys around London and stuff so lots of companies have signed up to this Oh, so have, they, have you had an enthusiastic response from companies mm. then? Well, yeah, very much so. I mean, we, we fit very nicely into sort of corporate social responsibility and environmental policies for big companies. All, all mm. companies, as you probably know, I mean, all big sort of corporate multinational companies need to address the, their environmental impact. So we're a great way of just going, okay, cabs tick, <laughs> you know, much lower emissions by using us than a, than a normal cab. 
Um, so would it be possible for small businesses to use your service yeah. as well? Or, well, at, or it... an individual, you can call us and book, a, you can pay cash, you can pay on a credit card or a debit card, so anybody can use us. Um, we're, we're launching an app in about four weeks time, which will enable you to book and pay on your card or pay cash or, or book on your account from so your iPhone. I could find myself working late at the office mm. one night and decide, actually, I don't think I can yeah. bear to get the train home or the trains have stopped running or something, yeah. and, and I can use my app. Yeah, or you can just call, you can call us or book online. Uh, we have an online booking system as well. So um, either way, but I mean, we're you know it's a twenty it's twenty four seven business. So um, you know you're in the middle of central London here, so you'd expect a response time of less than twenty minutes, um, and a climate car will be outside to take you home. That's amazing. Um, so how else do you think that your sort of the ethical values of your of the company are reflected in the service that you so it's, it's very much um the cars are the core part because obviously um we're providing service that's using a hell of a lot of, of doing a lot of miles so um that's that's a key part so we're obviously trying to drive down the emissions that way so the cars have got better we've been buying newer cars and the new electric cars and stuff so we've been investing in charging infrastructure as well for our electric cars um in addition we carbon offset all of our emissions so we calculate um exactly what the mileage is for all of our cars all of our office emissions and then we purchase carbon offsets to um, sort of cancel them out as it were. Um, we partner with a bottled water company called Bellew um, who've got pretty strong ethical standards. All their profits go to clean water projects. Um, so that's the water that we give to our customers. Um, and then you know the usual stuff like recycling and you know everything we can possibly do to minimise our office emissions, uh, renewable electricity, that sort of thing. So you're not just the sort of tagline people know that if they're no, using you it's also from end to end of your company you're yeah, and sure that there's meant to be a purity to the brand so you know uh, over the last five years we've never you know added any diesel cars anything that isn't a hybrid or environment or sorry alternative fuel car we wouldn't touch um, so it, it should go the whole environmental side should go the, throughout the brand so that when you use climate cars you know it's a genuinely a green product rather than some sort of green wash and you're hoping that in the future biggest taxi service in London yeah. everybody will be using low emissions cars well, it's going to move that way anyway, because obviously the, the, the car te we're not exclusive with the car technology. I mean, anyone can go out and buy a hybrid car or start buying electric cars. We are leading the way in using you know, alternative fuel cars. We're one of the first companies to, to use hybrids on a, such a large scale. Um, so you know, I, think, I think eventually we will, that, that USP of being green will actually be eroded over time and will be a very, very efficient, very, very good large tax company. Well, um, I'm sure that, that that's definitely going to happen. Thank you very much for talking to me. Pleasure. It's been really interesting finding out a bit more about uh, another way that businesses can be more sustainable. And uh, wish, wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. I